twinkling lights might seem like just a pretty display, but there's more to them than that. They're lasers, and some scientists say they hold the key to something very special indeed, the power of the sun. We're talking, of course, about nuclear fusion. Opened the world's most powerful laser. <laughs> Imperial College's Dr Arthur Turrell is one of those scientists. He's come down to East London to give a talk, but it's not his usual gig. Lasers are really important for us. They're the way that we think we can get fusion to work on Earth and produce energy. And that's because lasers have a really kind of magical property, which is that we can put energy into light in the form of laser beams, and we can then deliver that energy very precisely, both in space and also in time as well. So what we're doing is we're loading all of this energy into the laser beams, we're delivering it to a tiny target just about two millimetres across, and um, for that tiny fraction of a second we're reproducing these conditions, the fusion reactions will go, and we'll extract the energy, in, in principle, in a working reactor. Uh, we're do the laser He's been invited by a group who want to mash up science with art, bringing it to a whole new audience. And I went along to see what it was all about. And when you actually listen to what uh, some of these scientists are doing on their day-to-day -day, you know, lives, it's just incredible the kind of stuff that they're doing. And just getting them out of the lab, getting them you know, from other places like Oxford and Harwell down to London and out in this kind of environment, you don't even have to dress it up or jazz it up. You just get them on stage and just say, you know, like, what are you doing, what are you working on? And it's incredibly inspiring. So, has it changed the way that people think about lasers? Before, I guess I just kind of played with lasers and had fun with them, but I didn't actually realise the deeper scientific implications that lasers have. So it's quite nice to know that I'm literally playing with things that could potentially change the world. I think it's always seen as something playful or it's, it's kind of a, a nasty negative thing. But it almost within the space of an hour and a half, I've been enlightened literally by the power of light. So I think it's great. Lasers are beautiful, beautiful toys to play with, but now I realise that they're going to change the world and save the world. This crowd has probably never been to an all-night rave on a weeknight after a science talk. But it's those dazzling light displays, the sort you might see at Glastonbury Festival, or even at commonplace locations like the barcode scanners in the supermarket to check out all of those lights and lasers to tell a story of what might be possible in the future for energy. Vicky Ellis, Energy Live News, East London.